Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rental Beer Review. Uh, we have my final Merid Seuss beer to drink. Uh, it's Merid Seuss Triple. Uh, it is 10% alcohol. Its ingredients are water, barley malt, hops, sugar, and yeast. I'm um, guessing the sugar was used to help up the alcohol percentage. I'm also sure it's going to be fairly sweet. Uh, now, I do have the Merid Seuss Goblet, which I got with these Merid Seuss cups. I couldn't find it over on my cup shelf. Anyway, Merid Seuss Triple into the glass. Now, I know triple fermented beers usually are not dark, but I've been pretty spoiled lately because the last two or three I've had have been the two or three dark triples in the world, and I really like the dark triple look better than this look. Uh, I'm not going to say that's a bad look. I do like it. It's more red than orange, so I'd actually say it's a reddish color, sort of like a uh, Irish red setter, to tell you the truth. Looks a lot like the fur from a red setter. Um, almost two fingers ahead. Very thick and creamy. Big bubbles. I'm um, actually pretty impressed with the look of this. Well, the first two things that hit your nose are a uh, very, very distinctive malt scent and a very distinctive yeast scent. So malty and yeasty, exactly what you'd figure you'd get from a uh, from a triple. You can get the sweetness from it too. I'm not really getting the fruity sensations that you usually get from most Belgian ales. That sugar is giving off, though, the, uh, the sugared alcohol content. Uh, I'm not really getting any hops on the nose. And it kind of has a sour sensation to it on the nose. Uh, not overly sour, not like it's going to make you go... But sour nonetheless. Uh, let's just try it. Uh, not the best smell I've ever had. I really like the color though. I think mostly because I really want an Irish Red Setter, but hey. I'm stuck with Frank and Stella. Now, I liked the other two Merid Seuss products that I had, but I was right, I don't like this. The head makes it a lot creamier as it goes across your tongue, but it is. It's it's a high alcohol content beer that you can tell is a high alcohol content beer. You can tell it's a high alcohol content beer also with the sweetness. It's a really alcoholy feeling, really sweet beer. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, when you take it into your mouth, you initially get a sweetness that isn't bad. As it crosses your tongue, the sweet the sweetness intensifies. Once it hits the back of your throat, you just get kicked in the back of the throat with the alcohol content. When you swallow it, the alcohol content's there for a second or two. Then it fades to this, uh, to what it really is, which is this bitter, alcohol-burny, 
yeasty grossness. Um, I usually don't find Belgian beers gross, but this one, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And other than the color, there's not much good I can say for this beer. Uh, I'd love to say that I love it and that it just continues on my Belgian beer love fest, but you're always going to find a beer from every country you don't like. This is my Belgium. Uh, I don't want to drink it again. Even if somebody put it in front of me for free, I probably wouldn't drink it again. I have a whole cup to bring upstairs and drink with dinner with me now, and I don't even think it's going to go good with my food. Um, I'll give it a 2.5 out of 10. I mean, it's it's one of the worst Belgiums I've had in a while. Uh, it has been sitting around my house for a while, but... <laughs> According to its best before date, it still has another month and a half. So, I mean, I can't believe that that's the cause of it. So, I'm just going to go with it's not as good as the other Meritsus products. So, Meritsus Triple, 2.5 out of 10. I'm not even going to chug it. I'm going to bring it upstairs for dinner. Thank you for watching the Albina Rana Beer Review. Good beer drinking to y'all. Have yourselves a very good night. Bye.